Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Finally, day without rain, but it's humid now. But, anyways, uh, so today I want to work on my new fuel tank here and uh, change the pump over. And we got to dump what looks like some water and crap out of this thing because it's leaked. That cap's gone crap and, and leaked a bunch of stuff in there. Didn't really want to have to do that, but see now, look at this. It's indicating leak. How would it know that? You move it around and it, it'll go down. So maybe it knows when there's water in there. Maybe the little guy down inside there doesn't float on gas, but it floats on water. Hmm. I don't know. But anyways, we got to try to get it <clears throat> in the back of the trailer. And I don't know, I got the Mini X here. I'm going to try to get it up, but I don't know if it's going to lift it high enough. So, we'll give it a shot here anyways, and if not, uh, well, I might be able to wrestle it in, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I want to try to get it up, and it might just kind of sit in there. Now, the only reason I want to get it in there is because I got this, what I had down in my other shop, cheesy thing rigged up to screw into the tank, and then to a valve to the bucket so I can capture this stuff once we get the, the valve out, which shouldn't be too bad. I do have some tools if needed, and we gotta put the hose together, we gotta put a new filter on the pump. But first of all, let's see if the Mini X will lift this thing high enough. Okay, let's fire it up. This thing sat here since the other day when we used her to uh, level off the dirt. <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna lift it high enough. A little preheating. Even in nice warm weather, it's still got a preheat. All right, we'll let her smooth out there before we start lifting. Uh, I don't know. This eh, it might go enough, but it's going to be like right into me here. I think that's the problem. Uh, Put that guy up. Whoa, we're going the wrong way. Let's go the right way, maybe. And I don't know if this tank's going to be too heavy for turning. It might want to tip, tip me over. I'm not too sure, but no, I think, you know what? I think we're going to get her high enough. Something's telling me. If I get the strap hooked on here the way I need her, we might be all right. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I could lift it probably right by the uh, thumb part there, but I'm going to try to uh, get it lifted with... Whoa, gee. Okay, let's put you on a tripod here. Okay, I might have to do this a little differently. I don't know whether it's going to be long enough to go around. Both sides here is exactly what I wanted. Not quite darn close. Darn close. Okay. 
tomorrow. Oh, wrong way, bud. Jeez, bud. Oh, wrong way again. What are you doing? Let's get close. Ah. Ah. Okay, let me rethink this here. I'm not thinking inside the box. Close, but uh, I think that's gonna that's gonna slip off up there. I gotta try to shorten the straps a little bit so I can get it as best I can because I'm almost <clears throat> my full extension out there, and that's not high enough. That is it. Well. I don't think that's gonna work. Darn it, gotta figure something else out. Okay, awesome enough. I think I got an idea here. Might be able to get this to work, but I got the tank going the wrong way now. So that's not good. I got to, uh, what do I gotta do here? I can maybe turn the trailer around. Well, let's dump the trailer out. Let's dump the trailer out, all the stuff in it, <clears throat> the tools and stuff, and uh, see if this is gonna work. Give me one sec. Okay, so I'm hoping this will work. Uh, let's put this on the other side. So when I come out and turn, yeah, it should be all right. Hopefully we don't fit. Now I gotta get uh, something under, I need to put the wood, some sort underneath the uh, blade there. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna end up doing here. Let's, uh, 
Let's get the trailer backed in a bit closer first. So as you can see, we're we're pretty much at the max there right now, but we got a long way to go yet, really. So <laughs> hopefully, what I'm gonna try here won't hurt things too much. <laughs> try to lift her up with the blade here. Go the right way. Ooh, you know what? I think that's pretty close. That actually went up a long way. I uh, have to reposition my trailer a little bit though, and uh, see if we can get her lined up here. We got a fuel truck now. <laughs> now the problem with, with this is uh, we might not be able to get that spout in there in time. So what I gotta try to do, I might have to lift her up and just prop something on the back here. The uh, three point hitch might go down enough. I don't know, we're gonna try here. Let's put the jack up first. And this will go down right to the ground, so we might be all right here. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, let's shut this off. All right, we're good. We are good as new tank. <laughs> so we can. Uh, oh, hopefully we're all right. Yeah, I think we should be all right there. Okay, so we gotta get some tools and get this bung off of here. And uh, yeah, let me grab a big uh, adjustable wrench. Should get that out. All right, should be able to squish this guy off of here. I don't think it's been in that long. And uh, stay there, tripod. This tripod's finicky. There. And uh, we got our thing now. The only thing I've sealed was uh, this fitting here. The rest of it, I didn't bother sealing because we're not going to be like you know using it long so okay now let's see if we can get this out of here looks like someone was piped up originally so uh. Uh. 
sure we're not getting any leakage. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's all at the other end. We would have seen it by now. We're good. Woo! Stinks. Okay. So hopefully I got the right size, inch and a quarter. That's a big freaking hunk of pipe there, but that's all right. have the right type of fittings for uh, necking her right down but uh, this is actually a tap I made for the cemetery from here down and then this just goes into like the garden hose fitting but uh, I left a little extra there but maybe we don't need it but uh, okay so I'll shut that guy off I'll we'll get a bucket or two here and uh, let's see what we get out of her. Okay, let's uh, fire this up again here. We'll uh, lift this up. She's gonna be running out the other end. Up super high there, but I have to, I can hook the trailer up and dump it even more. Okay, well that's actually pretty darn good. Let's see here. Ooh. Should be a bunch of water come out. I'm hoping. It smells like some pretty stale gas. Right now, anyways. What am I gonna do with that stuff? Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. Oh, I know, in the river. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. A fair bit in there. And uh, she's gonna take a minute. Looks like apple juice. Let her drain out for a while, maybe. You know, there's going to be a little bit where it won't get out, like this last little bit there, but... I mean, that's all right. Ooh, it stinks! Yeah, it worked pretty good. A couple of little leaks, but... You know, there's a leaking a little bit, but... I didn't really think I needed to seal her all up, because I'm only going to be using it for about four minutes here, and that'll be it. But it's not leaking out of there, though. <laughs> Out of the actual inch and a quarter. Oh, she's almost done? No. She's almost done there, bud. So what I might do is hook up the trailer and just tilt that up a little bit and get a little bit more out of it. Now I'm gonna probably have to watch I don't hit my uh, my guy there. That's the only trouble with that. It's really not up super high. Uh, let me hook up the trailer, see if we get any more out. Okay, so I was going to shut it off a minute. Seemed to work pretty good. It's pretty dark looking crap in there though, my goodness. I moved the back, oh, sort of the mini exit out of the way. Okay, so we want to hook on the hoses. Normally I go up through the machine here, but I'm just going to hook them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sim fellers and uh, that'll, that'll dump her out a bit better. Let's, uh, we'll see if we're not hurting in the bucket here now. Oh, not yet. Okay, we can go up a bit more yet. Works pretty awesome, eh? Freaking love this little trailer. That's got to be lots. Okay. I think actually, you know what, I might just leave, I'll leave this guy in here, work on it in there. Work on it in there and then I'll just use the backhoe whenever I get down there and take it out with that, so. But, uh, okay, so that worked pretty good. We'll just uh, work right in the back of the trailer here, I guess we got lots of room, so. She's dribbling out the last little bit. Well, you know what? Maybe there wasn't a whole lot of water in it. You know, looked like water 
when I was looking inside of the thing sloshing it around, but... Hmm... That's gotta be darn near it. I could go up a little higher, maybe. Get this in here. Go up a little higher, although I don't think that's gonna make a huge difference. Let's put this thing down before I hurt myself. Okay, let's go up a little higher. I don't think I need a lot, though. I think that should be a lot. It's going to fall out if I go any more than that. Any more than that there, bud. But she's dribbling out a little extra. Little valve guy worked pretty good, <laughs> I must say. She worked pretty darn good. Okay, I got a couple things I should probably clean up. We're here with a wire brush. And uh, re-dope that. And uh, yeah, we'll stick that guy back in. I think we're pretty good there now. These uh, old stoves have worked out pretty good for working tables. Ooh, this might need a little bit more of a wire brushing. I don't think it threaded in that far anyway, so. Give me my wire brushes, it's not very good. This looks like a, it's not tarnished at all, so it's like a stainless steel plug maybe. That'd be all right. Okay, so that's not bad. There's a couple of little spots I'd like to get a little more at, huh? Probably if I went at it with the, uh, where the heck's my screwdriver? Let's wire brush a little more. But it never wasn't threaded in this far anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, it would be good. All right. So, get this stuff out of the way that we're getting all dirty now. This is the Pro Dope, it's for everything. It says natural gas, but it's for gas, like natural gas, uh, I think that says propane under there. Oils. Natural gas, propane, oils, air, water, refrigerant, steam, CO2. Pretty much, pretty much everything. <laughs> so we're gonna have to dope this guy up. Dope, dope, probably way too much, but you know what? I put quite a bit on when I did the uh, plugs on the AR, and one of them's leaking. Can you believe that? It's insane there, bud. That's insane. Okay, let's check our, uh, check our tank here. Oh, she's just dribbling, I think, now. We're pretty, probably being pretty good. stuff stinks. Oh, there's some water in the bottom. You can see it. Warbling. That's the warbly is. That's what I wanted to get out of there, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Smells like gas. Blech. Little guy worked pretty darn good. I'm uh, happy with that. More is better. I don't know if it is or not. But... Don't drop it on the ground. <laughs> Okay, let's take this fella on here. That's probably pretty good. Maybe one more for good measure. 
<laughs> no, that's all I'm getting out of her. Okay. Let's put her down. Bottom floor, ladies wear. There we go. Excellent. All right. So those straps can come off. Uh, we'll get the mini X out of the way here too. Let's do that right now. Right now. I know, he should be on it. <laughs> I know you guys are probably sick in here, but I love this machine. <laughs> it works so good. Okay, so how tight is that now? Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. As I say, it is bad, but it's not that bad. Just got to figure out who goes where and what's kind of what now, because now I don't know. There we go. Put that over there for now. Okay. So, oh! We need to work on this feller. It's a bit crabbly there, but uh, I guess we'll just uh, maybe put the wire brush in there and kind of scrape it around a bit. All right, I don't know if this is gonna fit in here. I don't think I'm gonna really worry about this. If they were worried about it, they would have put a stainless steel fitting into her, but it's a steel tank, right? So. I don't really have any way of cleaning that. So we'll just dope the crap out of her. That sounds good. But first, let's get this guy out the rest of its way. Should be a big tube in here that goes almost to the bottom, not quite, so you don't suck a bunch of junk up. And uh, this has got to come off here. That's where the hose goes back in. Little guys don't take long to rust up now, do they? Ooh -wee. Okay, pull this guy out and uh, we'll lay it on top here. Ooh, it's a metal tube. Hmm. It's kind of in plastic. But we gotta clean up these threads real good. All right. Still paint on this thing from when it was new. You know what? I should get that cap. This tank will go back to the guys at uh, the guys I got the uh, this from here. So. And I only have a hand pump on this because I don't really use a lot of gas anymore. When we had the other older equipment, it used to be a gasoline tractor. Now I'm like all diesel, so we don't uh, we don't really need we don't really need uh, too much gas. Now. That's why I'm changing all this over. So okay, that's pretty good. It wasn't terrible bad, but... And another reason is uh, people nowadays are lazy. And it's a lot easier, easier to, say, fill up your car. <laughs> when I'm not looking, we'll say. To uh, flip a switch on. Or even hook up a 12-volt battery to... Well, my diesel is battery, but... There's not many people that want to steal that, that I know of anyways, better not. So I'll dig you a hole. <laughs> Real fast. Shouldn't, shouldn't tick off a guy that's, uh, works at a cemetery and, uh, is very efficient at running a backhoe. <laughs> I will just say. 
Now, never had to use that service, we'll say, either, but uh, hey, you never know, right? Okay, I think that'll probably be way more than I need, so let's take her up to the new tank. Okay, I hope this will turn here now. I might have to take this guy apart a little more. I just see uh, this uh, spout thing here might give me some problems, and it's going to. Yep, you rat turd. So, that's not much fun. It's hitting on uh, this other filler guy here, so I'm going to have to uh, probably take it off here if I can get it off here. Wow, that might suck. Either that or take the top cap off here. That might also work. I don't really want to mess up that seal in there, but I think it'd be easier to get that off and to get these pipes off now. Darn it. I got the thing all ready to go. Well, that sucks. I think I'm just going to take take this top off here. There's got to be a valve or... Actually, there shouldn't be anything in here. This is just like where the, the hose is supposed to go in there, and I guess this comes... I don't know. We'll see. Let's get some tools. Okay, sorry if the thing shakes around a bit. You're in the trailer here with me. The trailer's just on its springs, of course. So we'll, uh, we'll pop this thing out of here. Hopefully there's not a bunch of springs and a big gizmo and I don't know what is gonna be in here, but we've got some, quite a few bolts to get out. Oh. Well, I guess that'll still work there. A little rusty. Not too bad. Yeah, I think this might have been easier to do this side than try to get all those fittings off. I don't know what's going to be under here, if there's a sealer or gasket or something or whatever have us. We shall see momentarily. Hopefully there's not a great big spring. Or something that's gonna go. <laughs> of course, the last one is the one that's gotta fight. Right? Figures, doesn't it? Okay, what do we got under here? Ooh, there's a bit of a valve guy. Gasket. It's perfect. That's all I need off. Okay. What is all in here? Holy. There's some springs. This uh, is a, like, like a double acting thing, so I guess one way it's pushing one way, and there's a big uh, round disky guy in here that's the pump. So one way it sucks and the other way it sucks too. It's kind of kind of a cool pump this thing. I think that's the gasket actually feels a little bit deteriorated. Yeah, that's quite a Little mechanism there, that's your little valves, right? Okay, let's we'll just maybe leave that there. Maybe just, uh, oh, that doesn't want to come out. Okay, let's uh, back you up a bit here. Alright, we should be cleared now. Try not to get any junk down there. Oh, yeah, you can almost kind of see the. Ah, oh, I can show you that after. That's pretty cool. There we go. Let's 
being silly. Yeah, I'll show you the double acting thing, and this is actually pretty neat. Neat little system. Okay, so I want to end up with the handle out the front here. It's getting a bit tighter. I don't know whether I'm going to get another turn or not. I think I'm going to leave her right there. Okay, let's show you this pump. This is really cool. Okay, so the handle is closed right now. So once you start pulling the handle back, it'll be your first pump, and that's your second pump, third, fourth. It's not just, you know, one pump, two pump. I don't count it like that anyway. So, uh, so there's a little diaphragm guy down in here. That'll start sucking. And then now it's probably squeezing out of this one. Shh. Sucking in this one. And then you push her again. And now it's closed the little valve, I guess, down inside there. Now it's squeezing out of this one. And sucking out of this one now. So it's, it's kind of a neat little system, really. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's, uh... Ooh, I don't really like that gasket too much there. But I don't have another one, so... I'll slap her back on, I guess. I could maybe put some of my, uh... My uh, gasket stuff on it, maybe, I don't know. All right, I got my uh, anaerobic stuff here. I'm gonna just uh, paste a little bit of this onto it, I guess. Oh no. I don't know who that was, but by that kind of name, I am not answering that one. I don't know if this is a good thing or not to do, but... It'll probably help a little bit. Okay, so now this guy has to go back in. Perfect. Looking good, I think, I hope. Better be good. Because I don't know if I can get parts for this guy. And uh, this thing here, let me think now. I guess we'll put some on the uh, kind of outer perimeter. That'll seal her up. Should, anyways. Okay, let's get a bolt ready too here. Now, that is the way it came off. I guess you could go that way too if you wanted, but... Yeah, it actually worked pretty good taking that off. It's good to look inside there and look pretty good, so I'm not too worried about anything inside. That should be good. We'll torque her down to 29 bill foot pounds. You know, I don't know if this is going to leak here until I uh, put some gas back to her. Sounds good. 29 foot pounds, 29 foot pounds, 29 bill foot pounds, 29 bill foot pounds. Okay. We have to do the hose, I guess, now. Sweet. 
Okay, so we got the hose here. We're just gonna dope up this guy. Don't think it matters which end is which. My old hose was getting pretty tired. Uh, I had a fair bit of uh, wear to it as in uh, So you can see the, the what you call them through the hose, the braids. I didn't like that too much. All right, let's go up here. And this might be a bit of a wrestling match. I don't know. Try to keep her coiled up here. Not too bad. Probably way too much thread sealant. I'd rather have too much thread sealant than leaking gas all over the place. Okay, I better uncoil this guy a wee bit. Too bad. Oh, gosh, that thing's still not tight enough. Wow. It's gonna have to be, I guess. I don't want to take it all apart again. <laughs> I thought that thing would have been lots tight. Wowee. Yeah, I can't really go much more with it though because there's not much threads left on the pump itself, but that stuff will harden up eventually. I'm not too worried about it. Lots of it there, it'll harden up. All right, now we gotta work on the nozzle. Okay, so same deal again, we'll dope them all up. This might be interesting. I don't know if you're supposed to, I guess, turn the... Turn the nozzle, but then uh, pull the gun and then turn the hose. Break it. Oh, I think that should be lots. Alrighty. So now this thing's supposed to go around the other side. Uh, supposed to go around this side. This isn't the right nozzle for this, it's a shorter guy, but this kind of just kind of puts in like that. But I guess while I'm transporting it, I'll have to uh, leave it in there. Okay, we've got to work on our filter next. Okay, so I want to sometime cut this guy apart and see if we're getting any any crap coming out. I don't think we are, but oh man, I oiled up my filter here and I don't even know where to put her down now. Okay. We're gonna get our sweet filter wrench out. Should have probably done this before uh, put the hose on, but that'd be all right. That should go in there, and that should. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to tighten that guy up again, I guess. Holy, am I doing that right way? No, I'm not doing that right way. Never mind. I'm thinking the wrong way. At least I think this is the right way. Holy cow. I didn't put her on that tight. Yeah. 
Might have to get my other wrench out here, the one that wrecks the filter. Might have to do that. Yeah, let me grab the wrecker. Show you that one. There's the wrecker. These things do work pretty good, but they will pretty much destroy the filter. Use a tool to sort of thread it back. There we go. There's the old feller. Smells like gas. I guess that's appropriate. And this one uh, looks good and clean up in there, so that's good. I did oil it, the uh, gasket, so that'll do. I gotta leave that thing, see if it'll kind of stiffen up on its own. Once it, that stuff dries, it should be all right. But if not, pull the top off and tighten her down, I guess. I thought that would have been lots tight. I'm quite, uh, quite surprised that it uh, was still kind of floppy doppy like that. But anyways, now, how is the best way to cut that open? A torch? <laughs> Don't know if that's such a good idea. I kind of want to see what kind of particulates in it. Not too sure if I have a hacksaw up here. Let me go look. No, I don't have a hacksaw up here, but I got an axe. An axe saw. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea to axe that open and uh, risk losing fingers or how tough it's going to be here. Let's give her a shot anyway. I got nine more. Okay, let's not lose the fingers. I don't even know if this is going to chop into this thing or not. Ooh, it did too. Gotta be accurate though. It's a sharp axe. Axe saw. Who's nervous? I'm almost done. <laughs> and shouldn't shouldn't mess up. Funny how stranger things happen though, eh? that's so tough. Oh, I need to get it open a little more. Well, that might be enough. Ugh. Except now I've pinched the thing over on itself. Pretty darn accurate there. It didn't chop into the filter part here. Well, this didn't go exactly as I was kind of hoping. Darn it. It's not exactly <laughs> what I had in mind there, bud. Could probably open it with a with a match. Woof. Well, she's not kind of cooperating. Too much, so we're gonna just wreck it. How about, how about, how about that? Oh, I think it suffered enough. 
It's actually a really tough can still, surprisingly. I don't know. I don't think there's a whole pile of junk in it, but definitely won't know now. Well, there we go. That guy worked pretty good. Take him down and let him air out a bit. Take him back down to my other garage for storage in my... I got actually have a drawer down there with stuff like that in it. But there we go. Should be good. I'll have to take her down and get her, get her in load. Probably use a big tractor for that. And uh, get her filled up. I don't know what that'll cost to fill that, but woo. Uh, but there we go. There was a bit of stuff in the bottom. You kind of see it swirling around down there a little bit. Yeah, it's hard with all this glare, but there's a bit of water there. Now what to do with this stuff? Flamethrower. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Probably take it to the hazardous waste. I'll dump it in one of these bottles here. Hopefully the bottle doesn't rot through. Maybe I'll just put a little bit in to start with because I don't know if these bottles will... So far the oil hasn't leaked out of them, but... Uh, uh, this stuff, I don't know. I'll just see if that rots the bottom of the bottle out. If it does, well, we're not going to lose the whole jug. Uh, but for now, there will be no welding in the shop because it'll smell like gas fumes a little bit. Um, okay, I guess we're done. That's good. Uh, yeah, I'll take that down and unload that. And uh, sh should be good. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to do here today. I'll have to take my other tank down to the old one and I'll get them to come pick it up. They have like a crane truck that'll come and pick that fella up. But anyways, that is it for today. Thanks again for watching. That worked out pretty good. I was happy with our lifting method and stuff there. If it was much higher, we would have been screwed, but it actually worked out pretty good. So, uh, I guess the next project hopefully coming up here will be a little more work on the AR. I do think there is a problem with, um, well there's both sides, they both sides need a seal, but the clutch side especially, I think it's got a bit of oil in the clutch. And uh, I had her going out around the back the other day and I was just going up a hill, not much of a hill, and uh, it didn't like bog down and start bang 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 bang, it just kind of kept running normal, but then it slowed down a whole lot going up the hill and like it's probably not a good thing <laughs> so I want to uh, have a look inside the clutch and I got a show coming up soon I want to take it to TSC so I don't think I'm gonna dismantle it this time around right now but I might get a bunch of brake cleaner and spray the crap out of it and see if it'll kind of free it up a little bit so it'll maybe drive a little bit better so uh, but definitely probably needs some crankshaft seals in it and I don't know what uh, entails in doing that if it's just get all that stuff out pop a seal out hammer a new seal in away we go or if it's a little more involved than that i don't know so but uh, anyways gonna hit her out thanks again for watching we'll catch you all later and you guys have a good day